right uh good day once again uh it's ishala at the dg mike and you back on success enlightenment this is the first time coming to this channel feel free uh you just have to just uh subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell uh feel free to uh comment on any of my video you can contact me directly i always put my contact on my videos all right today we 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 building on an earlier video we made on the nigeria economic situation we've already said this what we are experiencing now in nigeria has already been said i said that a couple of months ago i told you the effect of subsidy on the prices of commodity is yet to happen right some companies we have to close down right either close down or shift their manufacturing out of nigeria in fact some of the imported commodities we have to stop automatically to be imported because the truth of it is that uh, at the moment the marginal propensity to consume we actually increase and the service will reduce why with that because the prices of the goods is going up and there's further expectation that the price will keep on increasing service will come down to name some financial institutions will actually close down if this continues all right and the very business class there that is happy higher price higher price you are making it don't worry low demand is coming that recession you guys are craving for it will happen this economy must just receive a turn around and I, from the office of the presidency i must just say this i am personally disappointed by now i expect a numerous grant to be available for to to to, to incentivize the intellectual class to give you to go out to that take research work on suggestions on to what and what to do next and it's very very annoying it's very very annoying when a one politician and a court of other politician whose personal intention of coming to politics in the first place is to what is to loot government fund or maybe to make a name for themselves or for whatever it is because if the intention is to make the country a better country you just have to understand that there's no better state without the better and light people you inform the elite in decision making how do you do that you give a grant for them to actually do research on decisions you want to make you don't just come one day and say this is what you are doing and this is what you're doing without any fundamental studies about it we have one of the greatest problem we have in this country is policy initial issues all right you expect this policy we need this effect but when you make the policy you observe another trend in the world in the economic performance of the country and this is because most of these decisions are made based on scientific guess before that a country did this doesn't mean what it succeed doesn't mean we succeed also in nigeria all right there are some certain studies you have to just make before decisions are being made let me tell you one thing for a personal individual as an individual your inactions can hurt you more than your actions but for a state for a country like nigeria your actions will hurt you more than in actions is a fact right because a single decision we have a spillover event and a feedback event on every other sector because the economy is highly complementary with all this grammar what am i saying i'm saying we have got to that point where i'm expecting the federal government of nigeria to put down a grant to what to incentivize the intellectuals in society to undertake research on way forward in what in the nigeria economy don't just come man ca ca campaigning and getting to sit and the only thing we are seeing is what is what is this nonsense change is this a change yes it's a change but just that it is not a change for the good somebody told somebody keeps saying that it is going to get really hard because before it gets better are you mad is it not getting hard enough before president bola ahmed Tunubu came into power it has gotten hard enough now is what it is leave religion out of these situations leave all these faith philosophies ideology and principle the facts remains the fact that positivism this country has no reason to be experiencing what we are experiencing now. we put ourselves in this situation by making policies that are not well researched before they were made how oh, the past president um What's his full name again? The past president, uh, Momodu Buhari, he just came in and said, "Fine, he want to close the, uh, the importation of some commodity rice and whatever that he want to promote domestic uh, production." But for that same reason, the price of domestic rice 
doubled during that period i've never had that happening in any country and one of the greatest problem he made is there was no solid research undertaking that decision he made tell me one research that he can reference it to every single month every single year do you know how many research work is being done in this country we have undergraduate research studies we have the msc we have the phd we have our professors they keep studying study undertaking undertaking so many research work all those are dusted in the world in the intellectual halls nothing is put into use my brothers and sisters can a country ever survive on that no even check these european countries you are copycatting their analysis their studies everything study them they have intellectuals who have over the time decide what will happen and that is what we are operating on the central bank we have we are we are working it was never a trial and error there are so many undertaking studies before decisions have been made the so-called federal system of government we are practicing it doesn't just come to be someone will just come on track no you need the intellectual class you need them they are an elite and it is for this reason that's why the lecturers are not well what uh are rewarded because you don't respect intellectualism you have to give credit to what the intellectualism you need them no solid decisions will be made without them we don't can't keep doing this trash this bullshit this bullshit imagine you have to buy a model of gary for as close to, for, for as high as 800 naira in a couple of a month or two we buy a model of gary for up to 1000 naira gary that's cassava cassava gary gary cassava cassava gary abamanana that's too bad that's too i'll be sincere in all in this this administration is set for failure bring in the intellectual class put grant for store don't just make decisions with the cohorts you have established all over the time no you want to make a certain decision in this economy just put a grant there put a grant not too much maybe five million or something like that that will at least cover for the research work and at least the researcher will have incentive to work into it so the intellect before you know it, you see your you see the professors in our society individual intelligent people you see these research institutions they start researching into it and the nigeria uh, nigeria bureau of statistics you have to be functioning um the cbn statistical bulletin i don't understand there are gap in the data we are we are experiencing i've checked through some of the data available trust me there are so many gaps in it and when the statistical records we have on board when it is it is it is inaccurate you've already decided that all decisions that we made if you what i don't understand for crying out loud you guys have been paid salary can't you just do your job well for once for kind of, this country has gotten to a point where everyone's decisions affect everybody it's not just enough you okay fine 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 when you're looking for that job maybe your uncle your brother somebody churches have to help you to get it but when you get the job can't you just do yourself a favor of doing the right job can't you do the job right uh, uh, for crying out loud you are crying when you are unemployed yes somebody pity you and you are in a particular position even though know you don't merit it can't you at least spend the rest of your life claiming the fact that yes you can do a better job as somebody who really merit it for crying out loud Papa Manana, this country need no savior. Everybody is the savior of this country. Everyone has a role to play. I'm playing my by taking my time out to make this content. And I expect this video to have over 50 million shares. I expect to have over 50 million shares in less than 48 hours. This is our country. No matter where I have in this world, I am still in Nigeria. I was born here. My dad, mom, they were born here. I was raised here. I was educated here. Do you understand what that means? All right, irrespective of whatever I find myself, I'm still part of it. If I cannot be patriotic, if I cannot be loyal to where I grew up to this particular age, for crying out loud, any countries in the world that I claim to be in, then they should know that definitely I'm just there for my personal interest. It's as simple as that. This country is not as bad as we have made it to be. We just have to make some small, small decisions right. To ask little things what matters. Okay? Little things matters. We don't have to be crazy by every youth has to involve in crime. 
we don't have to there's more incentive now for you to go into internet fraud because the economic hardship is real forget i'm wearing shoot suit coat or whatever <laughs> are you even certain i've taken dinner i've taken breakfast i've taken lunch are you sure are, are you sure the last time i ate it's not it's not close to 12 hours from now because the truth of it is that feeding is just fucking freaking expensive Bola Ahmed Tino Ubu engage the intellectual class in your administration before it's too late. Policies are not made on God's feelings, they are made on established intellectual work. With this, I come to the end of this video and thank you. Uh, I don't know for whatever I said that uh, anybody who feel offended my sincere apology but for a fact we can continue like this God bless Nigeria